at that ugly. He's even ugly and resting face. What you doing? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything. Get a glamour. Get a glamour. Bitch. Get, get a glamour. How y'all doing? It's your boy JC. Welcome back to the channel today. We are back with more of the Wolf Among Us. What's up? We back with episode two. We kicked it off. You actually guys showed a lot of support on that, those videos. So I appreciate you. Shake my hand. But yeah, again, preface, I already play the games, but I have forgot a little bit of something. So this is a good refresher. But yeah, we getting into it. Um, I'm also trying to look out for things that we might see in the sequel of the game, um, which is Wolf Among Us 2, which I think we might see badger you know they mentioned badger he was like a big good friend with toad we might see some characters that they hinted that uh we might see in this next season i'm not 200 percent sure but hey watch the trailer bro like that junk was lit so let's just get into this bro let's figure out what's going on in second episode also just to like reiterate like what the farm is if you guys don't know it's pretty much a place for all the fables who can't get a glimmer they have to go and it's pretty much like a prison the only way they can leave is they if they purchase a glamour and the glamour makes them pass off as like mondays and mondays are people who are not fabled so which actually got me wondering i wonder if they th would they use this whole mondays thing as like a plot point like what if we actually got like a main character that or like a character one of the main characters has like a monday and then they figure out like what's going on with the fables and fable town and stuff but they're doing a pretty damn good job to like not get caught i'm not even gonna order to you so i wonder if that's gonna be exploited next season i also wonder if they're gonna use bigby uh or bluebeard as a villain as well i don't know but let's get in let's get Mr. it Toad. what up do something bigby before he completely tears up the place whoa 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 hey hey you've got something on your face what the are you talking about you stupid <laughs> <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you for so y'all got your snack. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, Our are pretty good. Here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. That it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named Man. This fucking lap dog comes sniffing around this rich and the woman's the chick. God dang! That was loud. Worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right, we've had it worse, but not by much. What was this build up? This is a recap. That ended off kind of weird. I don't remember it ended off like that, but oh well. well. Alright, so we got back from the cliffhanger. Snow's dead. He has had it, bro. He could not have believed it. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. So she's a Monday? If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How I am. Feeling? I'm I know right. it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm gonna keep smoking. You feel me? Nice. Y'all see me well, hopefully can. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. 
You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... I told you, I don't know. I'm trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? Yeah. No, didn't think so. Mm-hmm. Your nose is bleeding. Uh-oh. You missed the spot. You missed a spot. Yeah, you just smeared it. Yeah, it clean that up. Face. You yeah, good? Tissue or something? Her head about to explode? Detective what is this, the boys? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Please. No, they knocked out. I'm sorry. Yep. Just make it stop, please. Yep. Memory wipe. We have to go now. <sighs> what did you do to her? What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. All right, bro. Let me finish my Newport. You still on that marbles. Get off. Should be on that black and mild. Stupid. I don't condone of smoking. I was just making jokes. My jokes are ass anyway. You know how to be. What, you making fun of jokes? It's crazy. Custard out here laughing at my jokes. I'm not talking to Ukraine. I'm not giving you thanks either, you piece of boo boo. <clears throat> Why keep adjusting that? I may not say nothing. You can talk. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. What about his pimp? Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're What's involved that look? in the murders. What do you mean that doesn't necessarily mean that it don't matter if they are or not? We got a lead. You said you want me to get a lead. That's why I don't like Crane. Look at him. Pussy. Pussy boy. I know what you're thinking, Big B. What? It's been one full night and a slice of morning. And I already miss her too. The f who are you talking about? I don't miss her. If you did, you wouldn't be yelling at her all the time. I never time. get more homes than one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. You don't really I just care. can't believe this is really happening. Give me a fucking break. What? You treated her like the fucking maid, and now? <laughs> you want a shoulder to cry on? Yeah. You didn't care then, and you don't care now. Shut your ass that up. It's not true. Not true at all. No, that's one hundred percent true. Ground could discuss this like gentlemen. I don't care. We have no common ground, bro. Let's get something straight here, all right? We have exactly nothing in common. 
Everything that connects us is dead. Gone. Yeah, cry about it. Better drink that expensive wine you made her get. I don't know why get. I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. I'm not saying shit. I just want to make sure that she wasn't going looking for trouble, that's all. Yeah, I feel with that guilt. Say, Sit they, with that guilt. I have, have to put an end to this. What all? What what end to what? It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I, I know! It. Asshole. Get that repaired. Put it on your tabs. Stupid. All right. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what Shout I Shout out to Lee. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. Shut your I stupid ass up. D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? It's been better, but we're not here to talk about me. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. Back in the alley, you mentioned your employer. Who is it? Who are you working for? <laughs> Why? You looking to change your occupation? Let's get it going. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Let's get it going. I'm gonna take some money. Hold up. We can take some money. I All know right. you enjoy my company, <laughs> but I'd like to be off. What is it now, Big B? I'll ask you again. Who do you work for? Your mom. Okay. Look, I know it's unpleasant. You don't want to be here, right? I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I just need you to cooperate. Once you've answered my questions, I'll let you go. It would help if I wasn't strapped to a chair. Fair enough. Just tell me who your employer is. I'd like to help you, but I can't. My brother and I, we got a thing about loyalty. We do our job and we keep our mouths shut. If we don't hold up our end, we don't get paid. Your brother? Where was he last night? Yeah. I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on her? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. I can get some, uh, cash if you don't mind. This is the PayPal fee, my bro. Ah, uh, appreciate it. You always carry this much cash? I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Eh. I'm declaring a tax on uncooperative troublemakers. My king! You taking out a loan? You might not like the interest on that. What's you up? I'm PayPal. You can't just. There are procedures to be followed. We'll Put it on your tab. Later. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You mentioned Faith. Look. I went to her apartment, 
That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Right. Okay. This is getting old very quickly. Let's see. I'm saving that. Oh, no. I'm not doing it for me. You're done playing nice now. Is that it? What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. Get off my dick. How about that, sir? You're not what even did doing you the work. From Faith. I didn't want shit from that little thief. More trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh, yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. What did she steal? Must have been valuable. I don't know. It was just some dumb thing my boss was after. What did you say? Your boss. Well, that brings me back to my first question. Who are you working for? Come on, D. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No, I'm fucking done. Okay. He's been got something to say. I'll ask you again. Who do you work for? I'm not talking. Okay. <laughs> Last chance, Steve. Who are you working for? Fuck you. You're a piece of shit, Bigby. Beauty was right about you. You're just a sick- Beauty? You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough. I breath, will not tolerate bro. the savagery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? You want to talk about Snow? You treated her like shit your whole career. Better take the blame for your incompetence. Now you can. What's going on down here? Oh. Huh? That's the plot twist, guys. It's Fable Town. The Wolf Among Us. Alteration David Bogan. And five minutes can't lie on. Come on, I'm going to play a real tonight. Music by Aaron and Mr. Bagoo. I was in the mall. She was sucking them balls. All right, smoking mirrors. Shout out to It's Real. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? I was getting answers. Abusing a prisoner like that. I was just doing my job. Oh, that's your job, beating up people. What do you I think? It's answers. interrogation. You want me to run back that episode? Worth time. And where you been, bro? Where the hell have you been all night, Snow? I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took you know, care of it. You know where I was? What you talking about? Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're alive. I'm glad you're uh, not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. 
I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. Right. I mean, that's what it is, right? So... <laughs> oh, they just got a fetish of you. Move? You ever seen it? Who figured out Redditors? Maybe you should lie low for a while. Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? It's too dangerous out there. Too dangerous? Bigby, I... I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore! I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose! <sighs> I had to pick this option because this is just like, it hurt me, bro. I'm like, damn. I'm sorry. You really mean that, bro? <laughs> I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I believe it. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. How do y'all live for centuries? He was so freaked out last night. He wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. I would have put fentanyl on the bleach and just... So I'm not to gonna revive. You know. I can handle the kid. Okay. I say that, but then I don't have kids and I'm Mr. Big Bag and Wolf. And I don't really care for, uh... Empathy. But here we are, guys. I'm gonna slap TJ's the kid around. There. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I I want to be there. I bet I, I get that. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. But uh yeah, uh, I'm not even gonna lie, dog. Like kinda regret doing the because I'm trying to do a different route, so kind of regret slapping T uh, Tweedo D around. Because I'm, let's just say, like, it, you know, the choices we make really affect everything. So, low key, I'm gonna like be more aware of that. What's up? Oh, uh, that's enough. Hey, Mira, finish. What that's are you doing, up. bro? What the hell are you doing? You can tell them to the find your glamour. with me, Sheriff. What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. I'm just you getting answers. Shit out of me, little boy. Why are you watching you saw me? saw everything. Okay, Mr. Toad. No. I'm just doing my job, Toad. Your job is to protect us. That's not what you've been doing. That's enough. <sighs> Balls deep. Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. All right, bro. Just get the little nigga here. Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? You're yeah, dramatic, bro. Watch yourself, Big B. If you do anything. Get a glamour. Get a glamour. Bitch. Get, get a glamour. It's okay. This won't take long. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. 
Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. He's hating, the bro. Lady fell in. Okay. But but she didn't have her head on. I thought I, I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Please tell the truth. Is there something else? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! Y you're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. Calm down, you ain't got no glamour. Yeah, so you didn't son you. Underwater. Before you son your own well, son. I don't know Weak if ass. anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. You good, bro? I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. See, okay. I told you, it's not that bad. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. Hey, I might not send you to the farm, just because you did a good job. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> we'll figure it out. You want to go look at the body now? Um, in a minute. In a minute. When you're ready. I ain't see that bitch ass mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who the fuck you think you talking to, nigga? All right, that was that was pretty bad. I need to stop cussing. It's been annoying to edit. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. You already seen me. Why are you saying that? What were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick That's your to the fault. Rules. You didn't enforce it, lame ass. Yeah, I'll do that. Lazy ass. I'm not done with you. Where can I find Tweedle Dunn? Uh that piece of scum there it is king look at that ugly he's even ugly and resting face what you doing you can show a little longer what is this a demo the woodsman and i were fighting now i want to know where he's hiding king no he's just well that's helpful yeah <sighs> this guy's pathetic. All right, what is this? Snow's perfume. Let me smell it for good l look. What is An this? Acid. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Isn't that for like stomach indigestion? What is you doing? What did you eating, brother? Um, anything I gotta look here? It's already 35 minutes? Damn. All right, um. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. 
Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. The witch and well, we throw people down to hell straight. No bail. What? My raps are so bad, Brody. Y'all pay five dollars to see me do better raps. I'll probably try. Not really. never seen her face before now. You gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. All right. You said it. Let's look at the head first. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. You said you let me do what I got to do, so shut up. <laughs> Anything? Uh, no. Nothing. Not yet. What? Uh -huh. Can you close her mouth? Damn, okay, hold up. It's just good to see how it... Nah, I'm just fine. Looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That man was eating Whataburger. Man, tell that man to hurry up. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Okay, let's go. Other side of the body. Let's get the hands. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Mm. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Holding something. Let's see. Pry open her fist. W what are you doing? Only way to find out. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Jesus, Big B. I have to get it what open. Is it? Flowers. Yeah. Okay, legs. Don't mind if I do. Marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Heroin? Pretty heavily too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? It might be a cheap one. Just to get the job done. You know, these is broke. Come on. know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. Yeah. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Hmm. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. It's a lucrative. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You know, huh? Let's check You're up right. here. These buttons are wrong. I wonder what snow I need to open her coat big beat just let me you want me to look away too damn just a coat hmm pink lingerie huh you still okay I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here. 
Are you? Burning people. How you doing with them uh, ten o'clock appointments at the strip club, bitch? The glamour is defective. Defective. We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. Why do you say it like that? You see, you don't trust this dude. Keep going. Yeah. Nah, get this freak away. He wants to look at you. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this, Nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Yeah. It looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. How would they know about that perfume? Hmm, guys. Hmm, if you think, if you can think real hard, you'll figure it out. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. Why are you Some worrying about that? Black market magic. Who knows what it could do? Why are you worrying about that? Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Will you keep quiet? Yeah. I get to use your your freaking book anytime. There's something in here. How do we open it? I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. Yep, let's get it. Actually, let's do it this way. So then we can do this. Like this. Yep. Yo. Yo. We did it. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Yep. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. Yeah. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think this was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Beef? How, how do you... Come on, bro. Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Come on, guys. That's a little weird. How? How'd they get this stuff of you? Who did Ooh. this, Big B? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That I don't know. wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should Maybe. have left them all back in the homelands. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly, it's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I, I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this, who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. Look, like he's just suspicious, bruh. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Why are you worrying about that you all of a sudden? let her go out there with you. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, we finna do. Sniff the troll feet. Freak. Oh, who's this, this guy? Is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the f they went to after? Hey, you want another ass whooping? Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. What's up? This'll do. Hey, we got a we got bad news to bring. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. 
Okay. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. Get it's amazing. It really me, is. Bro. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Get your hand off me. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? None your business. Oh, everyone knows. And none Queen your business. Was just here. You he said it looked like Snow White. What the hell, Crane? Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Big B, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to- Jack, find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or f*** the hell off. I don't care which. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually... Have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Yep. I could have been more direct, but it's alright. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. Check. Just screw off. Nobody loves you, bro. Yeah, walk off. God Bug fucking off. damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Oh, troublesome. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? Talk to Crane, big shit. If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Just let her f talk. Not talk, but just let her th think. That's what I'm trying to say. Think. Everybody gotta go through it. Holly, get the f out of my bar. Okay. I just want. It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. Damn. Don't. That sucks, bro. Y'all just throwing blame on other people. That don't. I mean, they ain't got nothing to do with that. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare. And very old. It's quite lovely. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamored as Snow White? 
What? Oh God, I'm sorry. What? That was probably about. She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Hey, bro, it Eventually, gotta be like that. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know that shit hole club, the pudding and pie. Oh, we going there next? The owner Georgie, with all his fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. I gotta get comfortable, y'all. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> That's helpful. We'll check into it. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of... It, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or... I don't know. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? Okay. Y'all gonna thank me later. That club? I'll go I was talking to you. Now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. I have to be good with Georgie. Really? Thanks. It just made everything easier. Okay, we just gotta do that a hundred million times the times that they force me into these situations and it gets harder because the context of the situation and I don't like it. By the way, please subscribe to help my mental health. Cash. Putting the pie. Oh, what's good, girl Z? Hey, she got the same ribbon. I wonder what that means. Oh. What? Sheriff, what's what a up? Nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. I'm not trying to get a lap dance, by the way. welcome, of course. Is it uh, business or pleasure? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. Yep. You're in My king. He's here. Come on. Okay. Y'all off or something? I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. Oh, this and is where I gotta... Kind of a mood right now. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. Okay. I'm gonna have to edit this part out, y'all. I hate it here. I was trying to make this editing session clean and smooth, but now there's titties. You have to have the titties, Joshua. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Did you know Lily? She worked here. <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Dang. She felt that in her heart, like. I can't say it, but. I, but I want to. For fuck's sake. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Nice place. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Appreciate it. Good I'll do my best. Before we go talk to this. You to smile. You never smile. So. How many times do I have to say? I was gonna talk to homeboy. Oh, it's you. We're closed. You know I didn't come here to fucking do Keep the work. Dancing you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. Just answer them. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? I said questions. Tell you what, 
Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Questions? Oh, yeah. Knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? You don't know me. You don't know me. Okay, mysterious lone wolf, right, I got you. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Next time, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not even gonna give you cheese. Again, loser. Okay, alright, Sheriff. Just fing with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. So you know some. In that some... case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Ooh. Black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare Just people. Just tell me what the freak I need to hear then. To back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Okay. Anyway, even supposing she was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. I don't need the trouble. For who then? I don't know. She had clients. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of f***ed up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on then! One more time. Who hired her? What you gonna do? Oh no! F Yo, take your sad fucking face where I can't see. You it. dropped it. Boo hoo! You bastard you fucking shit. Probably you got it. Yourself, man. Dollar General. Proud niggas. Little mess. You just Oops. dropped it, bro. Yeah, you don't pay him at all, huh? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or anything. I didn't ask. No I didn't ask. Knows. Did you see? Don't you get it. It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey now! Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? It's nothing to do with you. 
There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? For fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Okay. We got what we want without violence. See, I'm a good guy. Bloody come on, then. Prick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Ooh, some fees. That is my cash app fee. Mind me taking that money? Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie. Who's this Mr. Smith? Yeah. Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Okay. I did what I had Hello. to do. Business office. And what you gonna say? I broke a few cups. Yeah, that's right. God dang. Where's the place? Am I going the wrong way? Oh, it's over there. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. Crane? Good luck. Not getting a hand job right now somewhere. All right. All right. Nothing in it. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Yep. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Okay. What's in here? The lock's been busted open. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. What's up? Excuse me. I heard you out there. I know your lips are sealed. It's chill. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. You got some good, uh... I'm here now. You got a yes. killer rack. Okay. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. They used to? Once upon a time. What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. Hmm. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, 
I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Okay, fair enough. You can at least lead me. I need to know about one of Lily's uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. Who? His lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. I got it. Don't even worry about it. Gotcha. That's the PayPal fee. Don't don't worry about where that came from. <laughs> Can't disappoint the boss. Not 207? You'll think of something. Hmm. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Appreciate it. Most helpful person so far. God dang. What you doing off duty? I look like your teenager, brother. Your teenage daughter. Look, custard. That goddamn yeah, son of a <laughs> bro. Mhm. Mm uh huh, honey. Smile, you're on camera. Cheese. I like cheese. All right, let's look at the phone. See what we got. Okay. I should probably repair that. Right. We're gonna need that one day. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Factual. Let me get this. I need somebody. So this is where you at, Beauty? Oh, uh, Beauty. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. What else do you work so, at? Now you know. I thought you got I that daddy's I money. I should have told somebody. But Beast would lose his mind if you I knew. I don't. Beauty, I could honestly not care. care less about this. Do what you want. All right, jeez. I thought since you didn't tell Beast you saw me, you cared how I felt. But I guess not. So I what are you doing here? I don't know what you're doing. That's why I don't care. Oh. You have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Um, have you ever seen anyone, uh... Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. 
I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Okay. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Who? Hey. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Damn, hey, look at Crane, bro. Or King Cole, he a piece of shit. Thanks. Call him the king, but he ain't even at his post. Anyone sees you, that they Lame ass. See you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Why? Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... Oh, uh, whatever. The less I have to write down, the better. It doesn't even Thanks. matter. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? I lied. I'm gonna definitely put it in. Uh... Bruh, she getting her back stretched. You hear that? One day, brother. Maybe in second season. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. You hear this, right? Does Beast ever try this? God dang. Sound like a workout machine. Wait, before we go out there, let me make sure. I, let me check. Let me just check. Let me check everywhere. You know what I mean? There can be collectibles. You just don't know. All right. Let's see. Let's examine. Never sure why they have desks in a place like this. <laughs> People got to do their work. Okay. You got hmm. health inspectors through here very often? I don't know. What do you think? No. Finding what you're looking for? I wasn't expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No. The key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Oh. Interesting. They cover up their tracks pretty well, hey. So, are we done now? No. No. The room they met in was 207. Let's get it up. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. You want me to put it on the file? What if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, fine. I can rat you out. Help a brother up. Well, that's weird. Dot com. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! <sighs> oh, Jeez. no. Big B? How could you do this to me? Look, I'm not smashing, no, bro. No. It's, it's, Wait a minute. It's, it's How dry. How could you do this? 
We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. Oh, I'm gonna have to handle You're them. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What Kay. the f*** is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm not- ah! Hey, right. bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Chill, bro. Stop it! Is this you staying out of it? I thought I could trust you! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! All right, bro. You want to play? What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. Okay, hold up. She's my wife, Big Me. I told you. Just stop. What's up, Buster? Even be. I'm not doing fault. nothing. I'm for defending. What's up with it? What's up with it? You don't want to see this. Yep. There it is. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. I, I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises aren't out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything like that, but shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Yeah. And take the horns off, bruh. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. All right, so we got past that, little Bobo. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? Right. I think so, yes. Okay. The bed. I can't believe this. Same flower. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Okay. We got that. What is that? It's a book about Snow White, or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Yep. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Mm. I 
think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and the weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Yeah, it's it like that. You <laughs> trust me, there's more in United States of America. Let's see. Let's see. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Why, you like marble? He brought wine. Classy. Hmm. Wait, that looks like the same wine uh, homeboy got. What was it, Crane? Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. Mm -hmm. Right? It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotta calm down. She must have been so scared. All right, let's put the joint in the cassette player. Oh, there's an apple. Do you smell something? No, just apple. Is that even real? Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and yeah. Appreciate like reiterating everything we talked about. I thought you'd be. Thanks. So Damn, I, it all out. I get paid he for this. All the details noted down. Only then when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. You can leave. There's a note. Wait, I wanted to play the cassette. Dang it, we didn't get to play the cassette. Oh well. Are those pictures of the dead girl? This is an L, bro. How do you know? This is an L. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer. See, look closer. at the perspective of the mirror. You the guys, come on, take a guess who it is. Now, so. If you if you haven't closer. watched this before. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Why would you have pictures just there, bro? Come on, dog. Bro, look at his face. Look at pussy boy. Come on, dog. L L hiding. Can I say that? The L hiding. No, you gotta be a better creep, bro. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Really 
really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. <laughs> what you finna do? That's funny. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? <laughs> All right, <laughs> there you finish the end. Good job, Epic Games. All right, um, how did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 12.8% of players accused him not caring about her. 37.6% of players forced him to talk. Did you let Snow come with, to you, with you to the trip trap? 91.9% .9 of players let her make her own decision. Did you handle then? 69% didn't hit Georgie. Did you keep punching when Beast was down? You and 8.9% of players never had Beast at your mercy. Look at that. We are killing it. Telltale, y'all gotta fix that in the next game. That was loud. That like hit the subwoofers. You trying to break this Bayer Dynamics? But either way, y'all, that's pretty much it. Um, That is second episode. It's actually shorter than the first one, which makes sense, but it does get juicier. Uh, so yeah, we got the Crooked Mile next, episode three. We almost done, bro. So I don't know, we might make this one episode. And of course you can always go back, I think, and change stuff. So yeah, that's one thing. Um, things I probably regret. I'm only reason why I'm doing certain things is so like we can get a certain ending because obviously there's multiple endings with Telltale games. Some things that you do will actually tailor the ending that you get. You have to be very careful. And so that's also a good reminder for me and then up and coming uh, sequels like to pick the right answers and stuff, choices and stuff like that to get a, the best ending. But you know, sometimes it's like hard because you're in the moment and you just pick something, you know what I mean? Like you don't, you don't got time to think, you know what I mean? You just have to act on impulse, so. But hopefully I pick the best. I'm probably gonna do better in the next episode. But yeah, look, if you haven't played this or watched this before, like let me know what you guys think, your theories. I mean, it was pretty obvious it was Crane because you know, Crane don't really give a crap. He he's not that type of person to really have any sympathy for others so it's like the fact that he started caring about snow in those certain situations i'm like dude you just trying to cover your tracks come on bro yeah i wonder if we're gonna have this kind of you know detective work and all this other stuff in the next season i think we will but obviously i wonder if they're gonna make it harder more interesting I i'm just excited to really connect the dots because uh you know connecting the dots is my thing so either way y'all hope y'all hopefully y'all enjoyed y'all let me know how you've been feeling on this and uh yeah y'all stay blessed keep your space strong i'm gonna see you want to see peace